Hey folks, Phil D-Man here. I uh, want to do a little talk about thermal cameras today. Uh, first of all, don't put yours in the laundry. I did and now it doesn't work. So even though it fits so nicely in your pocket and you're going to use it again tomorrow, uh, doesn't go through the washing machine too good. So. Uh, this original device, uh, which is a Fleur One Pro that I used for a number of years in some of my early thermal camera uh, winter videos were you made using it. Sadly, it's no more. A uh, Korean company has sent me a couple years ago this uh, Thermal Master from uh, Korea and very nice sized, uh, this, this one will really fit in your pocket and really go through the laundry nice. But hopefully I can avoid doing that. Unfortunately, this early version only fit uh, Sari's Android phone. Uh, I've been an Apple person since 1984, I guess, when we got our first Macintosh. So, um, all of the videos the last couple of years have been shot using his phone. And then those very nice folks sent me for my review their latest version, even fancier, slightly less uh, likely to have laundry because it has got a, you know, a nice shape to it that uh, is probably gonna remind me. Uh, this is the extension to fit the lightning adapter. It's really, really uh, the, the new USB type connector. Work will work on both an iPhone or an Android. And um, so I'm gonna do a, a quick review on this. I've been playing with it a couple of days, love the image, nice and crisp. Didn't need to read the manual to figure out how to get it work. It plugged right in, as soon as you plugged it in, the phone asked to download the app. I, in a minute, I was going. So, well done. The first, as soon as I started pointing it at my bees, first thing I noticed is the hives in the oxalic winter trial were hot compared to the rest. So that's a red flag that I'm gonna follow up in future videos about uh, what's going on with the oxalic. Is it, making those hives unhappy. We, we had a red flag on that last year when I noticed after, um, after we'd done some, uh, put those strips in, the hives were, were wild and all, all over the front. I, w I thought maybe that had been because we had kind of, uh, you know, had those hives open inside and stuff. This time these hives had, had not been disturbed and they were still pretty warm. So I'll show you a bit of that video. I'll then show you some video for comparison of the earlier cameras and you can decide for yourself if this is uh, an improvement and whether it should be part of what you're doing with your beekeeping. So first, the newest Thermal P3, Thermal Master P3. If you're interested at the end, I'll give you some info about how you can get your own and thanks to the good folks at Thermal Master for letting me in on uh, the early version of this. Okay, here we are in the big shed. Most of the hives look pretty quiet and happy. There's three there that are jumping out. Let's go see if those are the oxala treatment hives. One here. Oh, oh, look. This one is. That one is. Beasts out the front door. And the bottom one is. One, two, three. We could see those from a mile away with this camera. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then there's another one. And here's another one. So these are definitely feeling it. Okay, for comparing purposes, we'll have some video made with the original Fleur One Pro. Excellent product. 
Uh, as a Canadian, of course, now I wouldn't buy it again because it's on from the wrong side of the line. But um, uh, nothing wrong with it except uh, don't put it through the line. Here's what things look like with the uh, infrared camera. A couple hot spots. Bees hanging out at that one. Okay, and uh, so that's the uh, cameras. You can decide for yourself what's right for you. If you're interested in the uh, Thermal Master latest version, uh, I'll put the link in the comment, but uh, there, go to thermalmaster.com and they have an 8% discount coming just this weekend for Black Friday. So do with that what you will. Discount code is THERM08. That's THERM08. T H E M 08. Thanks a lot, for, and I'll put that down below. If you've got anything you want to share about these cameras and how they can be useful in your farm or shop, let me know.